Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to show off the Christmas Truce game mode in Verdun, because I feel like it's something that in both a festive and map design sense deserves a pretty in-depth look at. So let's jump right into this. The Christmas Truce is generally pretty simple in design. It's just one small snowy section of a map that has a few post offices where it lets you send a digital postcard from within the game. And then there's a center area for a game of soccer and your character's infinite amount of snowballs. All of this is cool and it's lots of fun to mess around with these features, but this isn't why I find the limited time game mode interesting or important. The map design of this insignificant side branch is what caught my attention because it reminded me of a point I made in a video a while ago. I shot it out all the time because I use it as a reference for a lot of my thoughts on the value of this game series. Specifically, what I was thinking of with this is how game development could be used as a potential tool for education or historical presentation. You see, at museums and such, you always see things like wax figures and old sets and scenes of historical events. In the same way, this whole game mode was made to feel more like a respectful retelling of the Christmas truce that's readily accessible to anyone who owns a copy of the game. Think of your purchase, or in most people's cases, getting it for free off the Epic Games Store as a quote-unquote entrance fee for this mini digital museum. The attention to detail with the various toy soldiers and prop placements are meant to immerse you in one of the few bright moments in one of the saddest and most brutal wars in history. And because of that, there's an inherent positive outcome and underlying value to this small shift in developmental resources. Even though these resources aren't being used to develop the experience the game was originally marketed for, which is FPS action, I still find value in the content delivered, even though it's completely separate from the gameplay experience. Sorry, that got very wordy, and this is basically becoming a mini video essay, but I think most of you get the point. This small Christmas truce mode is more of a demonstration to relive one of the most remarkable events in history. And honestly, I'm impressed that they managed to make a somewhat fun minigame incorporated into that, even if it gets old pretty quickly. The use of period appropriate music also very much adds to the overall atmosphere of the map. And this game mode is all about the atmosphere. In fact, I'll close out this video by sharing my favorite detail of the whole scene, and it's actually off to the side, where there's a small communal funeral attended by both sides of the conflict. 